Tony Gravely, Gravely, Gravely against Simon Oliveira. How many, how many guillotines did he escape? How many times? So you were annoyed all the way through this one because Oliveira kept uh, jumping for that guillotine. He kept attempting the guillotine and never finishing it. Yeah. And I, we've, we've talked about this a lot because the guillotine is still one of the most effective submissions in MMA. I think and the there second... was a really nice guillotine later on the card with uh, Saeed Magomedov. Remember that one? Yes. And uh, we're jumping around a little bit. But my argument is that there are so many times that people attempt guillotines and don't get them that the statistics of guillotine success is much lower than people think it is. There are just a lot in MMA because a lot of people try guillotines and, and you know, so there are going to be more, you know, by default. Because that's the first thing you try, like, especially with a wrestler that's that's never dealt with guillotine because they, they, they'll, like, never get attacked. So maybe you, you'll get a few guillotines before he kind of, like, grows, yeah. like, smart to it and then defends it well. He uh, tried a few different ones. I think he, he escaped, like, what was it, it, like, 11 of them? Yeah, well, he went from, like, arm in to then, like, low elbow guillotine. And the way he was able to get his arm all the way back yeah. was crazy, though. Yeah, I thought Gravely. I thought uh, Gravely was good. Gravely, I can't. I don't know what his name is. I thought Gravely, Gravely was good. I thought his his submission defense was good, but I, I I don't know why he continued to continue to to level change into guillotines. I, it wasn't until the third round when he made that adjustment where he level changed. As soon as um as soon as Oliveira wrapped his neck, he he ducked under and took his back. That was third round. It took him to then. He got he got caught in so many. I mean, his sub defense was great, but it's too risky. That is. Which if, one? If that was, was there one that you thought was like almost? I think I think one of those first ones in the in yeah. the first round, probably that second one mm -hmm. where he was stuck in it for a little while, and it and it was like like uh, uh, Grevely was almost out of it, and then Oliveira was able to recover his guard. Do you remember? Because I was like, yeah. he's, he's fucking, he's out of it. He's, he's going to be able to pop his knees through. But he wasn't doing a great deal of fighting with his legs. He was just posting and trying to drive the, drive uh, Oliveira's legs past his knees. And it was, yeah. Were you disappointed that he didn't, like, try to finish it more? I guess and not. I, I just, just kind of, like, blanket on I, him. I think it was either, once he got him down, it was, it was I've got to control him best I can because he's going to scramble and then I'm going to be fighting guillotines again. Because he was, he was attacking them from all, all different angles, wasn't he? 